Surfer Dam was one of the first to show us how the wild winter waters of Lake Superior could be a hardness for extreme sports. But he isn't the only one. Local 3 Skylar Perkins spent the afternoon with one local kayak guide pioneering a new way to take on the lake and has the story on why he wants to show more people how to take part. In the, in the paddle sports community, what I do is sea kayak surfing. But if you look at what typical sea kayak surfing is, it's not what I'm doing. What we really are passionate about is, is the big stuff. So I understand from an outsider's perspective how it may seem dangerous, but what they don't see is the amount of hours that I spend in these conditions, in this cold, honing my skills. Because for me, this is like, this is like home. My name is James Lassick. I'm 24 years old, and I'm a sea kayak surfer on Lake Superior. I always thought kayaking was just, oh, you go out on the inland lake in a 10-foot recreational kayak and do some fishing out of it. But once I hopped in a sea kayak and really learned where it could take you, I mean, it's like, this is the best mode of travel. My first realization that stuff could be done out here in the winter was surf and dam. I was like, okay, well, we get our big waves in the winter. These surfers on boards are out there in the winter doing it in wetsuits. If dry suits keep you totally dry, why, why wouldn't I be able to go out there in the winter in a dry suit? I'm just, I'm just a surfer at heart chasing waves, but I'm doing it in a boat rather than on a board. I saw this lady this lady commented and was like, it's just irresponsible. Like, you don't understand how this lake is. You don't know how cold it is. And I get that, that's totally, that's totally the right approach to it. When you see what we're doing, you're like, what are you doing? This lake, this lake is, you know, it's not meant for that kind of stuff. We went over to Munising on January 2nd of this new year. And we're like, all right, we're gonna paddle the rocks. And we were keeping an eye on the forecast and the forecast is always wrong. It just depends on how wrong on this lake. At the beginning, it was relatively flat, which is what it was forecasted, and then it was supposed to build to six to seven feet as the evening went on. So when we started out, it was maybe two to four foot rollers coming in, bouncing off the cliffs. Fun stuff, because when that water fills those caves that are in the pictured rocks, all that energy gets compressed and shoots back out. So you have these water cannons that are shooting out like 20, 30, 40 feet. And the sound is like, it's nothing you can replicate. You just have to be there. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at that clapata. We stopped for lunch at Mosquito Beach and we we're getting a little cold. So we boiled some water and heated up our, our hands and feet. And in, in the hour that we broke for lunch, it went from about four feet to six with some seven footers in there. And that's how fast this lake can change. I mean, there has been, I've had some close calls myself, but I always say if you're, if you're dumb enough to go out in what we go out in, you gotta be smart enough to get yourself back in. So up until now, I've been smart enough to get myself back in. I had a run in with the Coast Guard, we were out and they closed Presque Isle Park because the winds were 60 miles an hour, 24 foot waves out in the open, and they were coming from the Northwest. And we were surfing on the Southeast side of McCarty's Hill Lighthouse. And the waves were so big and so strong that they were coming in at 20 feet from the Northwest, wrapping around and shooting back Southwest so we were surfing in anywhere from six to 11 foot waves southwest when all the wind and the swell was coming northwest. And the Coast Guard, they were watching us because they're right next to the break wall. After we landed, one of the guys from the Coast Guard came over and he goes, you know we can't launch our boat in this, right? He's like, there are certain conditions where even the Coast Guard up here can't go out in. And we were out in it. Because if it's not dangerous, I'm not having fun. It, it's an extreme sport and it's as valid as whitewater kayaking, it's as valid as downhill skiing or, or cliff jumping. It can take you places and offer experiences that no other recreation sport can. The sport itself is teaching me more about 
who I am as a person than, you know, anything else has that I've come across. I know there's people in the area that would take to this like I did when I first got into it. And I just want to be able to share that with the local community. And then long term, you know, maybe, maybe regionally. You know, I, I kind of want to be the face of Lake Superior sea kayaking. Um, I want to be taking people out on these trips.